Purchase a torque wrench that you are sure is calibrated. Purchase one directly from an auto parts store or a supplier. If you purchase a used torque wrench, take it to be recalibrated at an auto parts store. There are four types of torque wrenches, beam, click adjustable, dial gauge and digital electronic. The main differences between these types are how they are read and how easily they can be adjusted. If low cost and ease of use is important to you, use a beam style torque wrench. If accuracy and repeat use is more important, use a click adjustable torque wrench. Research the torque specifications for the project at hand. This will normally be noted in the number of foot-pounds that is recommended. For example, it may indicate if 30 or 100 foot-pounds is recommended for the specific bolt or nut. If you can't find this specification in the instructions, look the information up online. Note the pattern in which the instructions suggest you tighten the fasteners. For example, a star pattern or starting in the middle and alternating between the two sides. Ensure you are using clean, dry and undamaged nuts and bolts. The torque will not work correctly on damaged threads. It may also cause problems removing the fasteners in the future. Don't oil the threads ahead of time. This reduces friction and increases the load on the bolt. Tighten the bolts onto the threads with a wrench or socket, until they are snug. Then, you can follow up with the torque wrench. Grip the plastic handle of the torque wrench. Hold the handle so that it is centered on the pivot. For accuracy, neither end of the handle should be touching the bar. Place the end of the torque wrench and get into a comfortable position where you can read the beam straight on. Don't view it at an angle. Tighten it clockwise until you reach the recommended torque. Tighten the other fasteners in the recommended direction with the same technique. Tighten the bolts onto the threads with a wrench or socket, until they are snug. Adjust your torque wrench accordingly. Loosen the adjustable dial. Turn the handle until it reaches the torque specification, and then tighten the adjustable dial. Hold onto the handle. Place the tip on the fastener with the handle on the left side. Turn it clockwise until you hear a click. Repeat on the same handle until you hear another click to ensure you've reached the recommended force. Move around the project tightening the fasteners in the recommended pattern. Reset the torque wrench to zero when you are done. This will reduce the pressure on the internal spring and help to keep it calibrated.